A neighborhood crime alert for local businesses on the south side after two O'Reilly Auto Parts stores were robbed at gunpoint. The search is on for the masked gunman in each robbery. Now, the crimes happened just a few days apart. The first happened last Saturday morning at the store's Beach Boulevard location. The second, just a few miles away, Wednesday morning on Atlantic Boulevard. Channel 4's Ashley Harding is joining us live now from our newsroom. And Ashley, have police said if there's any reason to believe they're connected? Rob, they're treating both cases as separate incidents, but they also say there are enough similarities that they simply can't ignore. Both involved multiple thieves. They say both incidents happened at about the same time of day when the stores were opening. Plus, the suspects were wearing masks, and that's why police are hoping to get some clues from the public. These suspects are armed and dangerous. They're violent. Shock and concern. That's what many are feeling after this O'Reilly Auto Parts store on Atlantic Boulevard was robbed at gunpoint Wednesday morning. Police say two suspects wearing masks went in, demanded wallets, cell phones, plus cash from the register and safe. I can't even believe it. Jason Smith works at C&G Collision right across the street and regularly does business with those who work there. It kind of brings reality in, you know. Especially, you know, somebody you work with and know. That's, um, that's, that's upsetting. Police say something very similar happened at another location on Saturday morning, just a few miles away on Beach Boulevard. This time, police say three masked men entered the store with guns, demanded cash from the safe, and left in a silver Nissan Versa, like this one. No one was injured in either robbery. There's a little bit difference, but nothing um, majorly that would say it might not be the same people. So even though we have two separate cases, we're working it as it may be possibly related to each other. Police say they don't have a good description of any of the suspects because of the masks. But note that in one of the holdups, they are polite, saying, give us your wallets, please, and thanking the victims for their cooperation. In the meantime, they're asking businesses and their workers to stay on high alert, a message Jason Smith is taking to heart. We do have surveillance, but um, I think we'll put in a couple more cameras now. But like I say, I'm glad nobody got hurt. You know, that's the main thing. Money can be replaced. Police are also asking businesses to always lock doors they don't intend to use. If anyone at home knows anything about these robberies, they're asked to call police with the information they have. Ashley, what about the businesses themselves? Do you know if they had surveillance video? Rob, that's something police are looking for right now. If they're able to find any of that that would be of use, they say they will release it to the public. All right, Ashley Harding is live in our newsroom. Thank you, Ashley.